Today we'll be looking at lesson 5.4, shopping for cats and dogs. And our objective today is given a story involving two unknown quantities, I can use logical reasoning to find their values. So this, this is sort of like math, but we're going to do some logical reasoning today. Maybe related to systems of equations, since that's what we've been studying. Let's check it out. So Carlos and Clarita again, they are working on their business, their summer pet sitting business, and they've gotten it up and running. And so far it's been a huge success. Everyone's all about it. Everyone in the neighborhood wants them to tend their pets while they're away on vacation. And though they're already showing a profit on their original investment, they're always looking for ways to improve their business. And one thing they've realized is that they need to keep better records of what they've been buying. They haven't been particularly careful about what they've been tracking, and they discovered they actually needed more information than they've recorded. So they've been keeping track of what products they bought, so things they bought from pet stores, right? Pet food and treats and things to care for the pets. They've kept track of what products they bought, how many of each they bought, and the total amount they paid on each visit, but they didn't keep track of the individual prices for each of the items. So they don't know how much each of them costs. And if they don't know that, they can't plan for the future. So they'll, now they're trying to go back and figure out what each of these products cost based on the things that they did collect. So we're going to look at that with them and see if we can help them figure that out. So here we have one of these orders. They've got two different kinds of cat food. And one week, Carlos bought three bags of Tabitha Tidbits and four bags of Figaro Flakes for $43. And the next week, he bought three bags of Tabitha Tidbits and six bags of Figaro Flakes for $54. And let's see if we can use that information to figure out how much each of these bags of cat food costs. And we've got a little interactive thing we can do. I'll put a link in the video as well as in class. And let's take a look at that. So this is uh, what's called a Jamboard in Google. And we can move these items around. And these just represent the orders that we just talked about. So we did three of Tabitha Tidbits, four of Figaro Flakes, and that came out to $43 total. And over here we have order number two, $54. We again ordered three Tabitha Tidbits, and this time we have one, two, three, four, five, six Figaro Flakes. So we wanna use this information and maybe this handy balance scale they provided us and try to figure out how much each of these bags of food costs. So you can play around with that, maybe pause the video give it a try on your own, see if you can come up with something, and then come back and see if we resolve it the same way. So I'm comparing these two, and I notice they have some things in common. They have some similarities. Like each time we ordered three of this pink bag, pink or red, these Tabitha tidbits, so maybe I can put those on the balance scale and that balance scale should balance. We took the same thing off both sides. But then I also notice, let's see, there are four over here. There are four over here as well. There are just two more. So if I take all four of these down and put them on the scale, then we should be able to take four of these as well and put them on the scale. All right, so that should all balance because we put the exact same amount on each side. And it looks like we moved the entirety of order one, order number one. So if we did that in terms of dollars, that would be all $43, right? We moved all $43 onto the scale. But since these are balanced, we did that over here too, right? We moved $43 onto the scale over here as well. Hmm, 
So can we use that information to figure out what we have left up here? Well, basically we, we removed $43. That's subtracting, right? That's another word for subtract. We subtracted $43. So we can actually perform that operation. 54 minus 43, that equals 11, $11. And that's what we have left for those two bags, $11 for two bags. So assuming those cost the same, we'll just divide by two. And we'll get the amount for one of the purple bags for the figure of flakes. 11 divided by two is 550. So we figured out how much the figure of flakes cost. So now we need to go back and figure out how much the Tabitha tidbits cost. How might we do that? Well, we, we know how much the purple ones cost, how much the figure of flakes, right? And we have like one, two, three, four of those. So this is like four times $5.50. That's how much we pay for the figure of flakes here. Uh, let's see, I think that's $22. So if we subtract $22 from the order total, we should get how much we paid for the Tabitha tidbits for the red bags. So let's do that. We'll subtract $22. 43 minus 22, I believe that equals 21, $21. That's how much we paid for all three of these bags. So to figure out how much we paid for one of them, we just divide it by three. 21 divided by three is $7. So we reasoned out how much each of these bags was without having to actually do a bunch of math. But let's go back now and look at how to do this with equations. So this is the same problem we just looked at. But now we're going to draw it as an equation. We did it with pictures. So three bags of Tabitha tidbits. Tabitha tidbits is an unknown. We don't know how much that costs. So that's one of our unknowns. Maybe we'll call that T. And four bags of Figaro flakes. Again, there's another unknown. We don't know how much that costs, but maybe call that F. And the total is $43. So we set this up as three bags of Tabitha tidbits and four bags of Figaro flakes, and we paid $43. The following week, we'll set this up the same way, three bags of Tabitha Tidbits and six bags of Figaro Flakes, 6F. And that came out to $54. So there is our system of equations right there. Two equations and two variables. And basically what we did with those pictures, so let's see, this was the one on the left side and this one was the one on the right side. And we noticed that we removed, we removed this amount from the right side and we were left with something we could work with. So remove it, remember that's just like subtracting, right? So I'm gonna subtract this whole thing. I'm gonna write it right below, only I'm gonna do it as a negative. I'm gonna subtract 3t and subtract 4f and subtract 43. So basically I just multiplied this entire top equation times negative 1 so that we can subtract it. So now we're going to add this straight down and see what happens. 3t minus 3t. 3t plus negative 3t. Well those, those cancel. We're just going to get zero there. And then 6f minus 4f, 6 minus 4 is 2, so that'd be 2f. 54 minus 43 is 11. So now we just have a very simple equation. 2f equals 11, because we don't need to worry about that zero, right? That can just go away. We can divide both sides by 2. The 2s will cancel, and we get f equals 550. Figure of flakes is 550. Now this is the exact same process we did with those pictures, right? We took the left side away from the right side, and then we were left with two bags of figure of flakes, 
and $11 left. Then we just divided that by two, divided it up evenly, we got $5.50. And then we went back into one of the original equations and we put in that $5.50 to figure out the other one. So this is 4 times F, 4 times 550 equals 43. And if we think about what this means in terms of the story we told, this is the amount of money we paid just for the Figaro Flakes. Right? This is the money for Tabitha Tidbits. This is the money for Figaro Flakes. And that was our total amount. So now we just need to solve this to find Tabitha Tidbits. Let's see, 4 times 550, that's going to be $22. So 3t plus 22 equals 43. And now we solve this like normal. We're going to get rid of the term that is furthest away from t, so that's 22. Subtract 22 from both sides. 3t equals 43 minus 22 is 21. Doing the opposite operation of multiply, that'll be divide, so we divide by 3, and we get t equals 7. And notice that is exactly what we did again. We went and removed the figure of flakes, we took this part out, we were left with $21 and 3 of the red bags, and then we just divided the 21 by 3 and we got $7. So you can see how that process was the same whether we used pictures or equations. The equations just represented the pictures in a symbolic way. So let's look at another problem. Let's look at another example of this. Now we've got dog food. How much is each bag of dog food? One week Clarita bought two bags of Brutus Bites and three bags of Milo Munchies for $42.50. And the following week Carlos bought five bags of Brutus Bites and six bags of Milo Munchies for $94.25. We're going to go back to the Jamboard and look at this. So back in the Jamboard, if you look on the very top, you see these little cards. It says one out of six. If you click to the next one, this represents the second problem we're looking at. So we have two Brutus Bites and three Milo Munchies and that whole order came to $42.50. And over here we have one, two, three, four, five Brutus Bites, and one, two, three, four, five, six Milo Munchies, and that whole order came out to $94.25, quite a lot more than that first order. So go ahead and pause the video, play around with these, see if you can come up with a way to narrow this down to one bag, see if we can get the price of one bag of one of these. Okay, so well we started before by kind of moving the smaller side over everything over down to the scale. So maybe let's do that. Well, two of these, three of these, and we'll do the same over here. Two of these, and one, two, three of these. Let's see, so we moved $42.50 because we moved the entire order down, which means that's how much we took out here as well, $42.50. So if we perform that subtraction, that means we have, I'm going to need my calculator for this, 94.25 minus 42.50, I get 51.75. So that's how much is left up here in order two. There's still $51.75 up there. Hmm, so what can we do now? We've, we've taken off a full balance scale. Hmm. Well, one thing that I notice about what's left is it looks really similar to what we pulled down already. Right? I, I, there are two of these orange ones and three of the green ones, and those are all up here, but there's just an extra orange one. So maybe, maybe can we move these off the scale and do it again? Can we just pull the same amount down again? So 
We'll balance the scale one more time. There we go. That's another 42.50 we pulled down. And what do we have left? Let's see. This is 25, and I think this is $9, $9.25. And then we only have one bag of Brutus Bites left. So that's the bags left, that's the amount left. That must be how much that one costs. So that's pretty cool. That just kind of fell right out. Now we can go back into one of these orders and say, how much are the Milo Munchies based on the total cost we paid for Brutus Bites. So we had one, two of those. That's a uh, two times $9.25. That equals $18.50. So this amount was $18.50. We're gonna subtract that from the total order. Minus $18.50. Uh, let's see, 42 minus 18 is 24, 50 minus 50 is zero. So this equals $24. And now our last step is we just need to look at how many bags we had in this order and divide it up. So we had one, two, three bags for $24. That sounds like 24 divided by three, which equals $8. So the Brutus Bites were $9.25, and the Milo Munchies, we reasoned out, were $8. So let's go back now and try this as an equation. All right, so this is the same problem. We're going to set up these equations the same way. Two bags of our unknown Brutus Bites, we'll call that B for Brutus, and then three bags of Milo Munchies, another unknown, we'll call that M. So 2B plus 3M equals $42.50. And we'll set up the next one the same way. Five bags of Brutus Bites and six bags of Milo Munchies for $94.25. That's our system of equations. And now let's think about the process that we took with the pictures. We had this one on the left and this one on the right. And we took the entire amount of the left, we took it away from the right side, right? We took it off the right side. And then we did it again. So basically we, we subtracted this twice, right? So we did minus 2b minus 3m equals minus 42.5. That's subtracting it once. And then we subtracted it again, so exactly the same thing. Negative 2b minus 3m equals negative 42.50. So everything from this dotted line down, I'm going to add together. I'm going to add straight down and see what we get. 5 minus 2 minus 2. These are all b's, so this is a um, like term. We're going to combine like terms here. 5 minus 2 minus 2 is 1. 5 minus 2 is 3, minus 2 is 1. So this is just 1b. Now we have 6m minus 3 minus 3. 6 minus 3 is 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. So these actually cancel. This all just becomes 0. b plus 0. On this right side we have 94.25 minus 42.50 minus 42.50. I'm going to do that in my calculator. So 94.25 minus 42.50 minus 42.50. I get 9.25. Now, I don't know how you feel about that, but that was so much easier than substitution, but rather than having to solve for a variable and then substitute and solve and substitute and solve, this all just like fell right out. It was just like 
bam, 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 and suddenly I have an answer. So that's pretty cool. That, that maybe saves us some work. Now we just need to go back in and find out what m is. So we have like that first equation, 2 times b. b was 925. Let's see, that was over here, right? Brutus bites, 925. Plus 3m equals 4250. Now we just need to solve for m. Remember, this is the amount we paid for Brutus bites. We're just going to take that out of the total bill and then divvy it up evenly among the bags that are left. So 2 times 925, that's 1850 plus 3m equals 4250. We are going to solve for m, so we're going to get rid of the term that is further away, minus 18.50. Those cancel, we get 3m equals, let's see, this is 24. This is sounding familiar. It's pretty similar to what we did with the picture. So we have three bags equals $24. We're going to divide that up evenly by three. And we get m equals eight. Exactly the same as we got with the pictures. Super cool. So you can see that these equations are just symbolic representations of what in reality, in physical reality, would be these purchases, these purchases of dog food. Let's look at another one. All right, so we're asking how much does a leash cost and how much is a brush? Carlos purchased six dog leashes and six cat brushes for $45 at the beginning of the summer. And later, Clarita bought three additional dog leashes and two more cat brushes for $19. And we're going to skip straight to the equations on this one. Now, if you go back to the Jamboard, this one is available. You can just scroll forward to the next slide, and this one is there, as well as several others that you can try on your own. But we're going to look just at the equations now. We're going to skip, skip the pictures and see if we can model this just with the equations, but using a similar method. So six dog leashes, we don't know how much those cost. We're going to maybe use L, the variable L for leash, and then six, six cat brushes, maybe B for brush, that's another unknown, and that equals $45. So here we go, six leashes plus six brushes equals $45. Our second equation is three leashes, two brushes, $19. Three leashes plus two brushes equals $19. There is our system of equations. Now let's go back really quick. Let's go back to the previous problem we did. In fact, let's even go back to the one before that. The main thing we did here that was so magical was we got two terms that canceled each other out. That's how it got to be so easy to solve at the end. We had a 3t and a minus 3t. When you add those together, it just goes to zero and it just drops out of the equation, super easy. So the trick we're trying to come up with here is we're trying to find two terms that can cancel that way. So we have our L terms and our B terms, and we're trying to get rid of one. So can you see a way that we could maybe multiply this entire equation by something? and it will cancel the L, the L term will cancel. Well, let's see, this is six and this is three. We know that three times two is six. So if we multiply <clears throat> this entire equation, if we multiply this entire equation by two, We're going to get six times two, uh, sorry, two times three L is six L. Two times two B is four B. And two times 19 is 38. So all we did there was we just applied the uh, multiplication property of equality. We can multiply both sides by the same thing. We still get a true statement. And now I'm just going to bring this top equation out. I'm going to write it exactly as it is. 6L plus 6B equals 45. 
that's just easier for me to see when they're in a row like that because now I can just add them straight down. But we have a positive 6L, positive 6L. I want to make these all negative. I actually want to subtract instead of add. So 6L minus 6L, that's going to be 0. 6B plus negative 4B, that'll be 2B. 45 plus negative 38, I believe that is 7. And now we just have 2b equals 7. Super easy. We'll divide both sides by 2, and we get a brush is $3.50. So then how much is a leash? Well, we can take this b value and put it into either of these equations. Maybe let's put it into the first one. 6l plus 6 times b, which is 350 equals $45. Remember, in terms of the story, this means how much we paid for cat brushes. This is the total, total amount we paid. This is how much we paid for leashes. So 6 times 350, that sounds like 21. 6L plus 21 equals 45. Now we're just solving for L. Same old process. We will subtract 21 from both sides. We get 6L equals 24. Divide both sides by 6. We get L equals 24 divided by 6 is 4. So a leash is $4. Now once again, you can do this with the pictures, especially if that helps it make more sense. But you can also see we just figured out a way to do it with the equations. So that completes everything we were trying to accomplish today. Our objective was given a story involving two unknown quantities, I can use logical reasoning to find their values. And there are more problems on that Jamboard if you like to go through them, try to reason them out, figure, figure out how to get it down to just one bag of treats or one bag of cat food. You can give those a try on your own.